Before the match, I decide I'm going to buy the very last thing I haven't bought yet, uh, the ex improved rocket launcher. So now I own every single piece of artillery that I can in this game. Even all the stupid cost pieces. So yeah, I got it all. Every last bit. So the entire balance I have up there for my cash now is going to be just for cash. You know, like it's just going to be for show pretty much. So uh, anyways, we're about to start a new match. Um, hopefully we match up with Raven this time because they were the one, first one to fill up. But, uh, who knows. The game... Just, uh, it's gonna be Raven, so we're, we're up against Raven. This time we're attacking. I was actually hoping to kind of do an attacking scenario. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of kit I'm gonna go with here. I'll, you can pick whenever you get in the actual match, but, uh... I'm gonna be going with, um, either three or four, I'm thinking. Uh, probably three, because I get more armor that way. Plus I get explosive detection to detect any uh, mines that people might place or something like that, so... Proceed to objective B right. and secure the satellite uplink. So yeah, I've got to wait for the match to start now. Um, you know, I guess uh, one thing about MAG is, compared to most FPS games, you have to wait more. Uh, maybe not as much as, like, uh, Rainbow Six or something like that, because you have to wait until they, or Counter-Strike, where you have to wait until the end of the freaking match before you can play again if you die. Um, it's not that ridiculous, but you know, compared to, like, Call of Duty or uh, Battlefield, you're into some waiting in this game. And, I mean, if, if you can't accept that, then you know, obviously uh, it's going to piss you off, but, uh, you know, there, there's some good things about this. So, like, you never get spawn camped in this game. Um, you know, it, it's impossible pretty much. I mean, whereas Call of Duty, you can get spawn camps just by, you know, some random thing, you know, like with the map just deciding not to change the spawn points on the on the team for some for whatever reason. Uh, or, you know, someone exploits a glitch or something like that, you know. But uh, anyway, so we usually run this strategy because, uh, you know, it's not heavily sighted here. Um, I'm going to have to watch this direction over here. This gun has freaking terrible accuracy. I don't know why I selected... I, the reason I selected is because it's got a lot of ammunition. So I can spray and pray if I need to. If I'm in a situation that uh, precision is not going to help me. You know, like, I just need to spit out as many bullets as I can. And it's good for that. Got a headshot there. Or, well, I thought it was a headshot because it killed him really quick. I guess he was just low on health. Already took some damage or something. But, uh, anyways, they're coming to uh, try to take this base back now. we got to rely on our other team, our other squads, to uh, take down A so we can go to C. Uh, okay, so don't worry, this, is, this mode's called Sabotage. And basically, you know, the attacking team has to plant a bomb on C, but they can't do so until they, uh, control both A and B. And uh, the defending team obviously is out to stop that from happening. So, go figure, you know. It's a pretty simple game mode. Um, the only more simple mode there is is suppression, which is literally just team deathmatch. So, yes, if you're, you know, a COD player, you can totally just TD on this game. You don't have to play the modes. Uh, but, uh, people don't play mag to TD, so... So yeah, if you if you're only up for TV, then then stick with COD, I guess. So. I thought I saw a guy there. There he is. Yeah, this see him there. Sometimes you have to watch out for like the vegetation, you know. Um, especially if Raven Raven blends into it the most because they have the darkest uh, armor. Oh, there's a guy right there. I saw. I thought maybe I didn't see someone there. I don't know. I'm taking a save. I'm sticking close to the base um, in case we get a guy that sneaks by us or something. Yeah. So we've got a guy up there. I don't know if he's really... Yep, he's still up there now. I got a hit marker, but uh, just the one. Oh, shit. That grenade was too close. Get out of the way, dude. Okay. So now we're going to take C. Um, 
at least fortunately, we fell them about as quick as they did last time with us. Uh, with the other map that we were just playing. Okay, so, yeah, just pretty much get up here any means necessary. Um, this, apparently they haven't uh, got the area well defended yet, so we can obviously take advantage of this and uh, run up here. I'm dying over here! Okay. Gosh, teammates. Of course I'm not picked up. Figures. Yeah, I, got, I got picked up eventually. Well, at least he waited until all the enemies were dead. Sometimes I don't get that courtesy. Oh, grenades. Gotta watch out. Okay. Alright, um, let's see here. A lot of a frontal assault here. Just some spray and gray there. That's all we need to do in a sort corner situation like this. I need a Oh! Thanks, teammate! That counts to my death meter. I really appreciate that you shot me with a sniper rifle at like 10 feet away. That was wonderful of you to do. I died there, but that's okay. So that was a pretty short match. Uh, that's an example of how to play some match. So, well, maybe not on my part, but on the team's part. Although I think I had, my, I might have had, yeah, I was an MVP, number three. Not bad. Points are what I care about more than KDR. Um, but my KDR ain't that bad. I got about 1.3, I think, overall. So, but that guy's down Phoenix up. Uh, 